Hello everyone. Are you looking at transitioning your career into data science and upgrade your AI ML skills? You might have just landed onto the right place. Our YouTube channel and our AI ML course offers a more comprehensive yet most effective and practical learning opportunities here. I'm going to walk you through the different modules and exact topics that will be covered in my complete data science course as well as various free learning paths that I'm providing on YouTube. And if you like what you are hearing, don't forget to subscribe so that you're not missing out a single lesson. So in order to break down the complete data science journey, I have listed down eight different modules here. So I have provided a clear cut learning path and whatever details that I'm providing here are completely on very high level. And I also have listed down the different tools that we are making use of in each and every module here. Okay. So every module, I'm just trying to create a parallel learning path and upload that as a playlist in YouTube. So if it comes to Python, we are going to discuss briefly on the basic Python and we'll move on to advanced Python eventually, where you'll be dealing with functional programming and object oriented programming by considering a real world problem. So you are going to always consider a specific practical problem and try to solve it by whatever concepts that you have learned within this particular module. Later look at how you tackle these different libraries, which are NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Cbarn. So NumPy and Pandas are most effectively used for data pre-processing activities and Matplotlib and Cbarn are used for data visualization. And further we look at SQL. So SQL is one of the core skills that any data scientist or data engineer should have. So we are going to discuss about DDL, DML and DCL. DDL stands for data definition, data manipulation and data control. Okay. So once we cover all of these concepts, we are going to discuss in detail on different types of joins, how you aggregate different columns by applying a group by on a different column and so on. We'll also learn about subqueries and window functions and discuss in detail about MySQL. Try to establish a MySQL connection from Python. Try to interact with the database tables, like reading the data from a particular backend table, writing the data back to a particular database table using the MySQL connector that we might create. Okay. This is on pretty high level. So if you look at the course curriculum, you'll get to understand what are the different topics, exact topics that we'll be covering. Cool. And there'll be a learning path that will be devised as a part of playlist within YouTube as well. Okay. The second module that we'll be discussing about is statistics. So we have vastly covered statistics as an area, which essentially involves both descriptive statistics as well as inferential statistics. The descriptive statistics will deal with the estimates of location and variability which are nothing but central tendencies. We'll also deal with probability, random experiment and random variable. Try to discuss about the different probability distributions. They could be discrete probability distributions or continuous probability distributions. For instance, Gaussian distribution or normal distribution is one of the continuous probability distribution functions, which is critical for understanding what central limit theorem is, which forms the foundation for most of the inferential statistics that we do. Okay. So inferential statistics involves hypothesis testing. We'll discuss about various statistical testings that we will employ in order to conduct bivariate analysis. Later, we'll also see how you conduct multivariate analysis as part of EDA. Okay. So EDA is one of the critical steps in complete machine learning life cycle. We know about that. So EDA involves different steps. So we are going to eventually discuss about every individual steps that we carry out within the EDA process. One of the critical steps could be categorical encoding techniques. So we leverage different categorical encoding techniques, depending on the nature of the variable that you're having. We'll also look at feature scaling, how you are performing data normalization. What are the different techniques that you are going to employ in order to normalize your data? Also look at outlier identification treatment. It could be the outlier that you are trying to identify at column level, or it could also be at row level as well. So we'll also later look at performing multivariate analysis. I have said earlier. So once we are done with statistics, we move on to the third most important module, which is the mathematics for machine learning. The complete course and whatever learning paths that we are devising on YouTube as playlists are completely laid on the basic foundation of mathematics and programming. If you look at any of our playlists, right, we are coding hands-on, right? We are giving hands-on demos or lectures, which will help you to practically get attached to what concept you have learned. Okay. So here we are going to discuss briefly about linear algebra. So we are essentially going to look at what vector operations or matrix operations are, what exactly is projection of vector. So projection of vector is one of the key concepts, which is fundamental for support vector machines or logistic regression that you are going to later learn. And we'll also look at system of linear equations, 
and then finally look at understanding what eigenvalues and eigenvectors are and what eigenvalue decomposition is all about which again forms a foundation for your singular value decomposition and PCA that you are going to discuss later. The differential calculus also is one of the most important areas which forms the stepping stone for understanding the optimization processes. The optimization process as you know is a heart of machine learning algorithms. So we need to find the right model parameter values for any given model. The optimization process is one such process which is going to help us find those right model parameter values or find the right curve or right f of x that is required for us to generate our predictions where you might observe minimal loss. Okay, let's not delve too much into these nuances and complexities here. The fourth most important module that we'll be covering is machine learning one, which involves both statistical modeling as well as supervised machine learning modeling. So when it comes to supervised machine learning modeling, we are covering all the possible ML algorithms that are prominently used within the data science community. And then also look at natural language processing, try to understand what text pre-processing is, what are the different stages within the text pre-processing, what information retrieval is. Also look at bag of words encoding and term frequency, inverse document frequency encoding and all. We'll also take a stab at the contextual vector word embeddings like word to vec, average word to vec. In further modules, further away, we are essentially going to understand the different approaches that we take in order to find contextual word embeddings for the given text data. Okay, but not now. So in the module five, which is mostly about unsupervised learning, we'll deal with different clustering algorithms and also different types of recommender systems. So remember in every stage or in every module, we are considering a practical real world problem, both in YouTube playlists as well as in the course that we are offering. And finally, in module six, we'll discuss about deep learning. We have fundamentals of deep learning section and high performing neural networks, which is mostly about how you create a regularized or generalized deep learning model here. And we'll also discuss about the convolutional neural networks, which is the stepping stone for image recognition and object detection tasks. So it's all about computer vision. We'll learn about CNN in depth. You can also find a playlist associated with it on YouTube. If not now, it'll be there in a few weeks of time from now. And we'll also look at sequence models like RNN, LSTM and GRU. And then the module seven covers about generative AI. We are going to discuss about transformers, attention models, generative adversarial networks, and look at frameworks like Hugging Phase and Langchain. Okay? Please watch out our YouTube channel for more of these playlists here. And finally, MLOps. After you create the machine learning or deep learning models, it is very critical for any data scientist to actually deploy our models and operationalize these models. Just keep track of the performance of the models over time. There could be various instances where some of your key model features might have a covariate drift over time, which practically gives a problem to the overall predicted probability distribution in case of classification problem, or it also gives a problem to the overall distribution of your y pred in case of regression model, right? So you just keep track of all of those operational metrics in your ML ops. We are going to do ML model deployments either by using Azure ML or AWS. Okay. So this is on pretty high level. So when I say AWS, we are looking at SageMaker. Okay. This is on pretty high level. So whatever topics that I have provided here are not granular in nature. So they are pretty high level and you can also watch out for the different tools that we are leveraging in each of these modules. So here we are looking at all of these tools. In statistics, we are looking at SciPy. In machine learning, we are looking at scikit-learn. Deep learning, we are looking at TensorFlow, KRS, and PyTorch. We'll also discuss about Google Collab. Generative AI, we are looking at Hugging Face and Langchain. MLOps, we are looking at Azure ML. Okay, I believe you have pretty much understood what I'm trying to explain here. So I have laid out a complete course curriculum or a complete roadmap for the data science journey. And we are going to carve out different learning paths or playlists for each of these modules and host them on YouTube. Okay, please subscribe this particular channel and comment on any other topics that I'm currently missing out and that you would like to learn from me. Okay, thanks for watching.